Nathan Zagura here with a game preview edition of the Two Minute Drill brought to you by University Hospitals. Finally, the Browns 2021 season kicks off this Sunday at Arrowhead Stadium against the Kansas City Chiefs. And this is an opener that certainly is not the easiest on paper. After all, the Chiefs are the two-time defending AFC champions. They have the number one offense in all of football, led by former MVP quarterback Patrick Mahomes. And then to catch the football, they have the most dynamic receiving duo and productive receiving duo in the National Football League wide receiver Tyree Kill and tight end Travis Kelsey. Kelsey last year had over 1,400 yards receiving to set an NFL record for the most receiving yards in a single season by a tight end. He also led the NFL in terms of receptions of more than 20 yards. Now, if there is one Achilles heel for this Kansas City Chiefs offense, it is the fact that their offensive line is brand new and will be starting three rookies against the Browns on Sunday. It was the Chiefs offensive line that was decimated by injuries in the Super Bowl a year ago and all of that pressure got to Mahomes and ultimately undid the Chiefs in that game against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. For the Browns, that's going to be the key. This revamped defense and it's revamped up front as well as Jadevian Clowney joins Miles Garrett, Tack McKinley, Malik Jackson, Malik McDowell. Those guys need to dominate the point of attack. Last year, the Chiefs lost only two games when Patrick Mahomes was the quarterback and in both of those games, he was pressured on more than 30% of his dropbacks. That's going to be a huge key for the Browns in this one. And then obviously on the back end, try not to give up those chunk plays. Now Andy Reid is smart. He knows that the Browns have an advantage, I believe, in their pass rush versus the pass protection of the Chiefs. So look for the Chiefs to try to get the ball out quickly and make plays in space. Last year, the Chiefs led the NFL in yards after the catch, and so it'll be imperative for the Browns to tackle when the ball comes out quick to the Chiefs' playmakers. So that'll be the charge for the Browns defensively. Now, when the Browns have the football, it's that continuity, running it back with all of the key principles from last year on offense. This will be our first look at Nick Chubb in a game situation, and Chubb and Hunt form the most dynamic running back duo in the NFL. And for Baker Mayfield, it's that comfort, that continuity in this offensive system that should lend itself to some big performances, hopefully as early as week one. Here's what Baker had to say about this matchup with the Chiefs. Yeah, I mean, they're obviously they've been playing extremely well together for a while. Uh, they're, they're forcing you to make mistakes. They're trying to do that, trying to get the ball out of your hands and, and make you take chances. So it's about, like I said, doing our job, taking care of the football. Um, but the, yeah, they do a, a great job of, um, you know, creating mismatches and trying to get guys uh, free on blitzes. And there should be help for Baker Mayfield. Anthony Schwartz, the rookie with world-class speed, he'll be out there trying to stretch this defense both vertically and horizontally. It is going to be a fun one. Now, this Chiefs defense is good. The Honey Badger, if he is able to go, he had six interceptions a year ago. Chris Jones is one of the best pass rushers in the NFL up front. So this is a very complete football team. After all, we told you, they've been to the AFC Championship game three years in a row. And for a Brown season that starts with so much expectation, so much hype around it. This is a wonderful litmus test. And it's also one where there isn't the pressure. The Chiefs are the favorites in this game, but the Browns have an opportunity to make a very strong statement to start what we all hope is a very exciting season. Don't forget to tune into Browns Live this Sunday at 1030 on News 5, and then we'll have Browns Countdown, including live updates from Arrowhead Stadium for you at 11 a.m., also on News 5. This has been the game preview edition of the Two Minute Drill, brought to you by University Hospitals.